I can't believe I nearly got to the end of the year without having realised that this is actually a really great album. I heard it back when it came out, obviously, and I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was going to be something I was going to return to, but now, towards the end of the year, I thought I'd go back to it, see if I actually do enjoy it more, and I, I do. I do. This is a very dense electronic album that at times is very abrasive and very noisy and chaotic but at the same time it feels like it's under control, like it's a controlled chaos that Blank Mass only really knows how to control and keep like so like tight. I feel like this album does a really good job of keeping everything like making sense to your ears but at the same time you're wondering how the hell he was able to do it. Sort of like an igloo ghost where you just kind of wonder how the hell he's doing this but it's less crazy than that. But things do get fucking crazy though on the track Rhesus Negative or Rhesus Negative where the track just constantly builds, like it's just constantly soaring higher and higher, like it's just elevating itself to a point where the sound just keeps seem to just keeps on rising and rising and rising and it's just like the most epic electronic song I think I've heard all year. It's for oh. Honestly, listening to it is just such a confusing thing for the ears because you're just like, how does it keep how does it keep going? It's just like constantly like speeding up and speeding up, it's it's really just weird. It's in a way actually a little bit like the electronic version of Story 2 by Clipping where that track kind of keeps on just speeding up, speeding up and David's flow just keeps on like, like mounting upon itself. This is like the electronic version of that without a rapper singing, a uh, rapping over it. Other tracks don't quite have that epic climax as a uh, resource negative, but we do get a lot of great tracks across the whole album. It's only like eight tracks long. It's not that uh, long of an album. Some tracks do kind of extend themselves and go on, but it never feels like they're dragging. Sorry, I said eight. It's actually seven tracks, but the funny thing is the shortest track on the album, the opening track, is probably my least favourite because I feel like that loop sample that's over and over and over until like the last 30 seconds of the song where it stops it really gets quite redundant and I'm just pretty much bored of it but to be honest I feel like if I just skip that track then once like the manic electronic drug <laughs> fusion just uh, kicks in and makes your head go crazy then I'm kind of in a rush like to keep it going and then there's no points where I'm like okay I'm bored now but aside from that, honestly, there aren't many complaints. Um, yeah, I just wish I got on this album earlier in the year and appreciated it back then, because I liked it, but just returning to it now has made me realise, like, what the hell was wrong with me? This is absolutely one of the best albums of the year. That's why you got to repeat listens, my friend. you got to keep at it with albums that might not click with you the first time. you got to keep listening. Keep listening, and then you'll realise. Yeah, this is an easy B+, plus. World Eater, one of the best electronic albums of the year, one of the best albums of the year, hands down, will make my list, and let me know what you think of this album, it came out a while ago, I'm sure you've all heard it by now, if you haven't, go listen to it and then let me know, and yeah, subscribe to the channel for more reviews, uh, uh, have a good day.